rupees 1360 has been divided amongst a b and c such that a gets two third of what b gets and b gets one fourth of what c gets then b's share is and there are four options now basically in this question if you see predominantly you have three people a b and c and the total money that has to be distributed amongst them is 1360 so you are given that the amount of money that a gets okay it's two third of what b gets so two third of b and it is also given that b gets one fourth of what c gets one fourth of c right and we don't know how much c gets okay but what we know is that the sum of this plus this plus this is equal to one three six zero now in order to solve these questions what we try to do is obviously we have three people here one two and three and the only common link that we have in these two is b because a is also dependent on b and b is dependent on c right so if we try to make this a continued ratio if we can find out what is the ratio between these three okay then we can simplify this to some extent in such cases what we do is let's say if you are given that a is equal to 2 is to 3 then when we talk about proportion of b right or in other words b is to c we try to make this in such a manner so that we can equate it with what the proportion is there in the first case right now b is to c is given as 1 is to 4 if i make this one as 3 why 3 because 3 is what b also has over here so what will be the ratio of c so 1 upon 4 if it has to be converted upon 3 into something then obviously we need to multiply the denom we have multiplied the numerator by 3 over here we multiply the denominator by 3 over here 3 is to 12 right now what we have is a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 and b is to c is equal to 3 is to 12 in such a case when you have three variables right where the ratio of b in both the cases is same then you can easily write this as a is to b is to c is equal to 2 is to 3 is to 12 right which is 2 3 and 12 right now if you know that the ratio of these three is equal to 2 is to 3 is to 12 and the total money that they get is 1360 how much is b's shares b's share is obviously 3 divided by 2 plus 3 plus 12 into 1360 or 3 upon 17 into 1360 right this is going to give you 240 which is your answer so what I did in this question is that instead of maybe putting I mean traditionally the way you might have been doing is you put C equals to X then B becomes 1 by 4 X and A will become 2 third of B or 1 by 4 X right and you would have solved this as equal to 1360 once you get the value of X you can easily find the value of B but by applying the ratio method where we just converted the ratio of b in the same form as we have the ratio of b over here so 2 is to 3 is to 3 is to 12 right we can easily find out what is the ratio of these three people involved right so this method that i have told you is applicable when three people are there right I hope you would have understood this. In case there are any issues, please do write back to us. Thank you for being with us today.